Hi there, Anne Marie Fleming with VancouverDogs.ca, and as you can see, we're back out in the field, and today we are looking at a park called Musqueam Park. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, but I'm pretty sure I am. So it's actually really interesting. We're right at the entrance to the park. Uh, we haven't gone any further, but you can see just from the video that it is really, really dense, very forest uh, driven and I'm already seeing some bugs so you know that it's probably like this throughout the summer um, and it's actually a really interesting area because in the summertime I have two dogs here that you can tell don't do the greatest in the heat they have trouble breathing and so in the summertime I find it really important to find places like this that have a lot of shading that are a little bit cooler than just the traditional parks that are out in the sun and this definitely you can see that it's you know it's sunny across the street but it's really shaded in here so this seems like it would be a perfect place to take your dogs in the summer so they have a nice cool place to walk so we're going to go and check it out looks like there's quite a bit of paths ahead of us and I'm really curious to see what this park offers so let's go so we're a little bit further in and it's gorgeous it's beautiful I mean I know that the road is just a little ways away but you wouldn't you don't you don't feel it when you're in here because it's so dense it's awesome uh, we just met a couple of really great dogs. I wish I had gotten some footage of it. But, um, yeah, a 14 and a half year old dog and an 8 year old dog, big dogs, that Mackenzie you know, wanted to spend some time. And Paige actually did pretty well. She was a little overexcited, but she calmed down a little bit and had some, uh, some nice contact with them. So we're going to keep going, and let's see what's around this corner. So this is, a, this is a little interesting. So we've turned the corner, and this looks awesome. Awesome down here. It's right out of a movie. It's super thick, but then look how close to the road we are. It's pretty crazy. I'm not worried. It's not like there's traffic, but it's just, it's just so weird. If there wasn't sort of a gap in the trees, you would be very surprised to know there's a road there. But um, they've done a great job of preserving this, despite the residential development that's happened around it. So let's keep going. So I'm guessing that this uh, path is also used by horses because <laughs> if it's good enough for horses, it's definitely good enough for our dogs. Let's keep going. Trying to keep up with Mackenzie, he's on fire. Here, I'll get Paige in the shot here. See how hyper she is. Again, you can see how close the actual road and oh, there's some graffiti. That's just a shame. There's houses right along this. A, a couple minutes ago that the houses are right along the park. Check this house out. Isn't this awesome? So we've emerged from the forest path and we found this nice open area which I'm going to make an assumption here that this is the off -leash, actual off-leash area. There's no sign so I'm not totally sure. But again, this time we're close to the road, but it is a busy road. You can take a quick look. That's Southwest Marine Drive, so as many Vancouverites know, that's a pretty busy street. So not so comfortable in, the, uh, in this area here, but it's still very pretty, and you can't beat the path that we were just on. So, oh, And then there's Paige. <laughs> Silly girl. Let's just go a little further in and see if we've covered the whole park. I, I just did see some paths that went inside, but I think it all sort of just connects and loops back around. So we'll keep going a little further and see what you think. <laughs> Come on, Mackenzie. Come on. <laughs> 
Yeah, looking good. Ready? 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 Ah, I can't that. So I'm going to retract a little bit. When we came around into the open area, I thought that was the field, that was it, and there was the road, and I was, okay, it's not so great. But then we rounded the bend, and take a look at how pretty this is. And there's a swing. So we're going to have to try this swing. But it's so beautiful. Take a look at how tall these trees are. I'm used to the ones in the playground that were comfortable when you were a little kid, but not so much when you're an adult. This one is definitely wide enough. All right. Look out, Paige. I know she's going to get in the way here. Oh. See, I feel more relaxed already. <laughs> I think I could stay here all day. I don't think that'll be too fun for you to watch, so. Uh, okay. Let's see life as it would be from the dogger. This is my only chance to get my sister on camera. <laughs> Looking good, Paige. Looking good, Jennifer. <laughs> I just can't get over the height of these trees. Beautiful. So we've made our way back to the beginning, basically. We're just about, I don't know, 20 feet away from here is where we started. And that was great. It was very different from any of the parks we'd been to before. And it was a real treat, a real difference. I liked it. I love to see this kind of place, which makes me love it even more. And, you know, this park has actually got an extra bonus because if you get tired, Apparently, it comes with sleeping bags. <laughs> ah, I had to put that. <laughs> okay, but anyway, thanks for listening. It's been really fun. It's Anne Marie Fleming with VancouverDogs.ca. Thanks for listening.